This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets, a veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. This video shows surgical procedures, and thus, viewers' discretion is advised. Today is the 5th of October 2019, Saturday. This is a 1-year-old dwarf hamster who came to the clinic today. The owner had complained that she had noticed that her hamster's face was swollen for about 4 days now. However, Dr. Daniel suspected that it might have been a cheek abscess. As a result, the hamster's fur around the left cheek was shaved, and it was confirmed that it was indeed a case of an abscess on the left cheek. An abscess basically refers to a swelling that is filled with pus. To treat the condition, the hamster was first put under general anesthesia, after which Dr. Daniel made a small incision on the left cheek, lancing the abscess. The abscess was then squeezed to remove most of the pus, after which the opening was flushed with saline and cotton buds were used to clean up the remaining pus. The wound was left open to allow for subsequent drainage. During the operation, a small sty on the hamster's right eye was discovered, so it was promptly pierced. The hamster was then hospitalized for two days, and antibiotics and painkillers were administered. This clip here shows the hamster on the 6th of October, Sunday, day 2. As can be seen here, the hamster is active. Additionally, its appetite is good and its stools are well formed. Additionally, it has been urinating normally. Some wound cleaning was done this morning, which involved flushing the wound with saline and cleaning up any discharge using cotton buds. Although there was still some discharge, the hamster has pretty much recovered and can be sent home the next day. Today is the 7th of October 2019, Monday, day 3. The hamster has recovered almost fully, with the wound shrinking in size. Although there is still a small amount of discharge and pus, the hamster is ready to be sent home. The owner was able to pick it up later that afternoon. Antibiotic and painkillers will continue to be administered at home, and wound cleaning has also been advised to the owner. Do visit topiovets.com if you need more information, and once again, thanks for watching.